heartland of our nation every weekend all year round somewhere racing people gather near some quiet country town here's the home of dirt track racing this is what they love and know hometown boys in hometown stock cars give the hometown folks a show this is carnival and circle from miles around but for drivers and for stock cars this is rugged proving ground daytona beach is only the beginning of a year of testing in competition competition that's toughest when stock cars set themselves for 100 miles on the dirt all across the nation dirt tracks serve as public proving grounds for new cars. Each year, in more than 2,000 races like this, stock passenger automobiles take the punishment of a year's highway driving in a single afternoon. The pace lap. One lap to pick up speed for a flying start, then 110 laps in competition. 110 laps to find out about superchargers, fuel injection, multiple carburetors, torsion bars, and all the qualities that add up to performance, dependability, handling ease. This is it. The crowd comes to its feet as the pace car moves out of the way, and they're off. Number 87 Chevrolet takes the lead on the inside as number 98 Ford hangs outside. Fireball Roberts and number 22 Ford slips into second place as they roar down the backstretch. Marvin Panch and number 98 has moved up to challenge number 22 for second place, but Buck Baker holds on to that first place position. Buckbaker in number 87 jams his foot to the floorboard, but Fireball Roberts in number 22 hangs on and challenges. Down the backstretch, Roberts inches closer to Baker in number 87. The fourth turn, and now Roberts makes his move. Roberts and Baker plow through the second turn, and, and Roberts moves in front. Down the back stretch, both drivers giving their cars a bone-shaking ride. Look out! Bill Champion throws a wheel, and over he goes! flag alerts all drivers to reduce speed and hold their positions. Bill Champion is all right, but his car won't race anymore today. There's a signal for high speed, and again Roberts in number 22 Ford streaks away in first place to burn up the track. The field strings out, and the pace begins to tell. Automobiles, pressed under the heavy foot of drivers, yield to the tremendous strain. There's Baker in number 87. Where's Roberts? Roberts eases his number 22 into the pits, and that can only mean trouble. Number 98 Ford with Marvin Patch at the wheel moves up on Speedy Thompson's number 46. Both cars running right behind Buck Baker. Roberts number 22 is through. Front wheel trouble. And Buck Baker takes the lead with Marvin Panch and number 98 right behind it. High speed driving has made the turns rough, but Baker and Panch won't let up in the battle for first place. Down the back stretch, draining every bit of power from their machines, only to jab the brakes and grind through the sharp washboard turns. A brutal test of auto equipment.
defense is narrowing the gap. Baker, the leader, comes up on Lee Petty's number 42, a full lap behind. Pants moves into striking position, and Baker is boxed in. Pants streaks past to take the lead. Watch it. Jim Pasco's car is all over the track, but skillful driving brings it under control. Pants in number 98 Ford in front now and tearing up the record books. Roaring onto the back stretch, Baker rams number 87 back into the lead. But as they enter the main straightaway, Pants blasts ahead. How much punishment can these cars take? Pasco's number 17 is in trouble. It looks like a brake cylinder has caught fire. And it looks like Panch and Baker have caught fire. Baker again roars into first place, but coming down the front stretch, Baker is alone. Where's Panch? Uh-oh. Panch's Ford is limping into the pits with engine trouble. His bid for the lead fell 20 laps short of the checkered flag. Number 98 is out of competition. Buck Baker is moving like the wind now in first place. Half a lap behind is Speedy Thompson's number 46 Chevrolet trying to close the gap. Pasco's brakes are gone. And he's out of the race. There's the white flag signaling that Buck Baker is on his last lap. Baker is rewriting the record books in a tremendous show of automotive performance. He roars through that last car breaking turn and heads for the checkered flag. 100 miles in one hour, 12 minutes. A new competition record for the Hillsborough course. Speedy Thompson meets the checkered flag in second place and Jack Smith takes third place. 100 miles on the dirt, a year of testing in an afternoon of competition. Oh, upon a plain dirt track, brains and motors have their trial as thousands gather round together. This is racing country style. Now we travel from Hillsboro with its color, sight and sound to another scene of glory, to another 